Hi guys, I'm Roy here from Drive London and we've got Amal here with us and um, he's already driven before but he's about to do his UK driving test and um, we're about to do a mock test just to see how he gets on. Now his test is in about three weeks time. He's done about 10 hours already with us. Um, this is just brushing up and everything and he had a gap between what, about two years? Yeah. About mm -hmm. two year gap before, um, since he's driven last. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna see how he gets on with this mock test and it's his first ever mock test and we're gonna get into this now, okay? So just a reminder how the test works. The test is gonna last for 40 minutes. During those 40 minutes, keep her on the road ahead and this asks you to turn left or right. There's gonna be 20 minutes of independent driving. There'll be one maneuver and possibly the emergency mm -hmm. stop, okay? Sure. However, during our mock test, we're gonna follow the sat-nav majority of the time, okay? So the whole 40 minutes is just gonna be following the sat-nav. But in your real test, there'll be 20 minutes of independent driving and 20 minutes of them giving you directions, okay? So each time he makes a mistake, so any serious or dangerous mistakes, they'll be pointed up here in red. Any minor mistakes or any advisories, it will be in amber. And if he makes any good thing, anything he does well, it will be in green up here. Okay, should we get into this? Yeah. All right, good. So, test starts now. Um, before we start, um, could you tell me how you check to see if there was a fault with your ABS? I'll turn on the engine um, and then I'll look at the indicators. Uh, if the ABS indicator is on, uh, which means that there's some problem with the ABS indicator, otherwise, ABS, otherwise it's all fine. Thank you. All right, we're ready to go. I'm just, we're gonna start the independent driving from here. So whenever you're ready, we're gonna move off. I'm gonna tell you your first direction. We're gonna go down to the end of this road and turn right and then follow the sat nav from there. Sure. Okay. the roundabout first exit
100 yards, cross the roundabout, second exit. Cross the roundabout, second exit. I'd like you to pick a bay and forward park into it for me, please. Sure. Okay, let's start whenever you're ready.
reverse out of this. We're going to reverse to your right, drive up to your left, and just follow the one-way system for me, okay? Second set of traffic lights, we're going to be turning left, okay? So we're turning right in, and the second set of lights, we're turning left. Pull 
never park in a safe place for me, please. Drive on again for me, please. After eighty yards, turn left. Turn left.
300 yards, turn right, then cross the roundabout. Turn right, then cross the roundabout. the road, turn left. Turn left. the road, turn left, then take the second right. Turn left, then take the second right.
across the roundabout? Turn right, then cross the roundabout. After 100 yards, cross the roundabout, first exit. Cross the roundabout, first exit. side of the road for me please just anywhere here I'll just go right up to the end please that's great thank you okay perfect so we'll just turn off the engine for a moment okay good that's the end of your test how do you think you've done? I think so. <coughs> I've done a couple of serious mistakes. One, I took a right, a wrong right turn. Um, and I mm. guess uh, there was one more which I didn't really like. But yeah, I think so there are a couple. Of yes, uh, there, there were a couple of serious mistakes. Let me just give me actually a second. Let me just quickly mm. count these up, yeah? Okay, so I've collected 17 minor mistakes 
and seven serious mistakes. Okay, now we're not going to worry about the minus for now, we'll talk about those later. Let's quickly talk about those serious mistakes, okay? Let's start off at the start of the test, okay? So as we got down to um, this first mini roundabout that we had to deal with, so you know, the big tra set of traffic lights, we turned left. Mm. And we came down to a mini roundabout mm. where the sat nav said go straight ahead first exit. Okay. Okay, yeah. as we're waiting there, there's mm. two cars on your right. Do you mm. remember those? Right. right. Now you're waiting for those two mm. cars, but those cars aren't moving. Why weren't they not moving? Oh, their indicators were towards the left, so they might be turning. No. They were definitely mm. turning right. Mm. They oh, were okay. looking to turn right, but they weren't moving. Why were they not moving? There were people blocking them. So the mm. cars from up ahead mm. were driving past. Okay. There was a couple of cars, not even one, not mm. two, not three. Mm. There was about four or five cars mm. that were blocking them. And okay. this gave you an opportunity to enter into the roundabout. Okay. You're sitting mm. and waiting there. And I can mm. see the people behind going, mm. what is he waiting for? Okay. Yeah, there's mm. undue hesitation there. Okay. So I've given you a serious mistake for undue mm. hesitation at that roundabout. Mm. You're just waiting mm. there. And those cars are blocking the, the path of the right for you. Mm. And you're just still waiting, okay? Mm. Um, straight after that, we came to mm. another mini roundabout. Same thing, it's, that nav said go straight ahead, but second exit the same. Mm. Uh, there was no one coming, now there's no cars there on your mm. right. There's no road on the right, there's no cars up ahead, but you're slowing down and you're coming mm. up really, really slow. It's, okay. Again, undue hesitation. And as mm. you went into the roundabout, mm. the person behind gave up and mm. started overtaking mm. you. So too much okay. undue hesitation mm. there, and this is why okay. it's dangerous because yeah. it forces yeah. people to want to overtake. Mm. Okay, so giving you a serious mistake for undue hesitation at those mm. roundabouts. Okay, mm. um, straight after that, while we're driving on that road, um, what was the speed limit on that road? Don't recollect. Uh, so road, the uh, really long road. Uh, the street lights, I guess it was thirty. Yeah. Mm. Uh, no, no. So it was. The, you saw the sign as well on the mm. floor. Um, it was a twin the twenty. Yes, and you yeah. were about to put into third yeah. gear, and you, right, you dropped right, down to second. Right. Um, so you mm. It wasn't even that road. Actually, mm. I gave you a mine on that road. Mm. There was actually another road where you was doing about twenty six mm. miles per hour on a twenty zone. Mm. Okay. So you got to keep an eye on your speed. Okay. okay? Yeah. So okay. I've given you a serious mistake for mm. your speed there as well. Okay. Um, further down, we came up to this section where there was a bus lane on the left. Yeah. Okay, and we kept over. We to kept the on to the right. And now I could have used the bus lane. Correct. Yeah. So you could have used the bus lane, and we stayed over to mm. the right. Did you realize at any point you could have used the bus lane, or right until the end? Uh, I realized in between, uh, but then I continued on it, and then took a. Uh, okay. Left. Now at some point, did you see there was another car behind us? You yes, used the black lane, yeah. and he undertook you. Okay. And in your test, this is also a serious mistake because okay. you're no longer using the overtaking lane correctly. Okay. You force someone to undertake you. We sh it's no, your normal driving mm. position should be in the mm. left-hand lane. Yeah. So yeah. if the bus lane's in operation and you're allowed okay. to use them, you, okay. you, you should be in the left-hand lane. Okay. okay. So I've given you a serious mistake for your normal driving position at that point. Mm. Okay. Um, and then further up. No, actually, sorry. Once you move back to the left after the bus lane, mm. you use the left signal. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the left signal continued. Correct. Yeah. And now mm. there was a turning there. Mm. Just as you move back yeah. to your left mm. after the bus lane, there was a left turn. Mm. So people are assuming you're going to be turning mm. left, left there. Instead, okay. you carried on straight, okay. which the sat nav wanted you to do. Okay. And then further up in that road, your left signal is still on. Mm. People are going to assume you're pulling over and parking or doing something else or turning into okay. the next road and left. And this mm. is where I said to you, your left signal is still on. Mm. Okay. So that was another serious mm. mistake for your uh, signals correctly. Mm. Okay. And then further up that road, um, I said to you, follow my directions. Mm. And I said, we're going to turn right into a home base car park. Mm. Okay? And that is where I took a wrong Correct. early turn. Yeah, you was about to turn mm. on the wrong yeah. side of the road. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Now, there was something there to help you know which side of the road to turn on. Do you know what to look out for there? No, I don't. You know those, yeah. those um, kind of cone things on the floor? Uh, those mm. yellow cones, and they have yeah. a, a blue circle and a, mm. a white arrow. Okay. Like this, mm. yep. That basically tells you which side of the road you need to mm. turn on. What side mm. is your side of the road? Okay, mm. it tells you which side to position mm. on. Okay, so look out for those to help mm. you. But yes, you was trying to turn on the wrong mm. side. I told you no, this mm. is the wrong side of the road, and that would have been a serious okay. mistake there. Okay, um, and then we came into the car park. There was a few times you didn't use the signal where you still had more mm. than one option. You mm. could have used the signal there, giving you a minor for that. Mm. Um, but then the maneuver was good. I was really happy with the maneuver. You went in well, you came out well, you did your observations mm. good, your control was good as well. 
Um, and then we came back out and once we got to the end, we did a right turn and then said to take the second, second left, left of the lights. Mm. And then you you did your left signal at the first set of the lights and there's a road just there. Mm. Now, you could have, I thought mm. you was going to turn there. Were you going to turn mm. that out the first one? Uh, no, I realized that it was the second turn that you were saying. So I had applied the wrong signal by then. So I continued on. Uh, okay, so usually if, if, if mm. it's wrong, turn it up mm. for a moment. Because if mm. you continue with that left mm. signal and while the road is still there, even assume yeah. you're turning into that road mm. and anyone can pull out in front of you. But in that one, because I spoke and mm. I told you to turn it up, mm. because we're going at the second mm. one, you did turn it up. Mm. I give that, I've given mm. you a minor for that. Mm. Okay, normal stops. Oh yes, I mm. asked you to pull over and park in a safe mm. place one, on one mm. occasion. And where did you stop? Oh, there was a driveway, I suppose. It wasn't a driveway. It was double your lines. This is um, the second time I got you to pull over and park. Mm -hmm. I said to you, pull over and park in a mm -hmm. safe place. And it was just like this, just there. Yep. Okay. So mm -hmm. it's you got a road, which mm -hmm. like a an entrance for a road, and then you got the curb, and it has mm -hmm. double yellow lines because mm -hmm. you shouldn't be parking that close to a junction. You should be about ten meters away. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anyways, you parked there, which is wrong. Okay. So remember, double yellow lines. We keep them clear. Safe place is a raised curb, no markings on the floor, and so on. Okay. So giving you a serious mistake for normal stops and just paying attention to road markings then. And lastly, there's one for use of mirrors before change of direction. So when the sat-nav said to you, turn left, yeah, and um, you got confused, you didn't know if it was that road, and then you, was, you did your signal and it was that road, okay. and all of a sudden you change your mind. Okay. Now you're not giving yourself mm. enough time to, when we do a sudden change of change mind like that, we're not giving ourselves okay. enough time to check your mirrors. Even yeah. though you did, but there was a car behind you, and he's already yeah. going into overtake position, and I have to say sorry to him. Yeah, okay. So you've got to make mm. sure that before, well, first mm. of all, don't make any last minute changes, mm. okay? If mm. you've committed to something, mm. you're about to turn, just just make turn. the turn. Mm. Even if it's the wrong mm. way, you might get a minor for this, and might, sometimes you won't even get marked anything for it if you've done it really safely. Mm. But if you do a sudden change of mind, mm. you could, it can be a serious mistake, mm. and it is dangerous because you could mm. cause an accident as well. Mm. Okay? That's all your mistakes. <laughs> number of them. There's yeah. loads of them, yeah? yeah. Understand all these faults? Yeah. 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 Okay, so there's room mm. for improvement mm. and we're just going to keep so doing these mock tests. Mock, yeah. uh, we're mm. going to obviously work mm. on these mistakes and do another mock mm. test and see how mm. we improve on yeah. that. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, sure. Good. Perfect. Yeah.